Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 9 and 10 of Saki. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. Hey, tacos. That is so ugly. <laughs> Now? You got 10 minutes to find her tacos. All the fangirls are going nuts. <laughs> Uh, no, uh oh. She ate my taco. Beam on. Oh. 
right? I mean, because of certain things. She loves tacos. I think Yuki's gonna be okay, because something was in there that she liked. I mean, yeah, look at her. That's right. You can't put all the pressure just only on her. Damn, she is overtaking y'all. She literally just put her off her game. There is no way she can come back after this. I mean, hell yeah, she might end up taking everything. That's it. That's fucking game.
Taco, you in last? You know, he had to go pretty far for some damn tacos, especially with the timing. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, because here he comes. Please eat them now. All good. You sure it's just a coincidence? Even when she's winning so much, she's still losing.
What else can you do? This girl wear her damn eye, oh my god. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, I mean, in a way, you kind of overestimated, babe, but it's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Basically, you getting your ass beat. <laughs> I mean, well, in a way, she's on a highly different level. Nope. Even though she, she was at, at the time being your ally, just as much as everyone else, it is everyone for their freaking selves. You're doing everything in your power to win, and that is that exactly what she is doing. Yeah. 
honestly, it was very one-sided. Of course, the victor. I mean, you know, in a way, she said the last time that we that I watched the show, she was going to come back for a vengeance and, and look at her. So I would be very afraid, no matter what, any school that goes against her, very afraid. Now, Saki, on the other hand, if she does, per se, go against this blonde girl, I mean, I feel like Saki... Saki can go toe to her, toe with this girl, but Saki's own sister, that's a whole different ballgame because of the fact is Saki knows herself how hard her sister will go in the game of Mahjong, but I think Saki still has the skills and the smarts to possibly defeat her sister, even though truly I have not met her sister just yet. And I feel like we're kind of getting close to meeting her sister, but I feel like it's a little too soon. For me to meet her, that's why I'm thinking, like, at least by episode 15 or 20, we might see her. But, yeah, I mean, I feel bad for Yuki, aka Taco. She, you know, it just wasn't her day. And sometimes it's like that. It, it's like that. It happens. You pick yourself up. Yeah, you cry about it a little bit. But just know, next time will be your way. She tried her best. And she did really good, honestly. Even though she did not win. It is still okay at the end of the day. You still a winner in my eyes. Okay, so now who's going against her? Is it going to be Nadoka? I don't think, like, I would like to see Saki go next, but it could be the student council president. Oh, nope, Saki felt that. I got a bad feeling. Mm-hmm. Because remember, this is the girl who beat the pro. Also, once again, let's uh, talk, looking at that preview and the way this episode ended, the fact that, like, I'm guessing she she's like 13, right? The 13-year-old beat the shit out of the pro. That does say something about this competition and stuff. I mean, shit. We, I, I cannot imagine if we, if we got to a point where, like, people, you know how, like, when you're playing just regular cards with friends and then eventually you're like oh hey let's do some betting on that and such like if, if this happens da, 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 we get this if we get that da, 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 this is not you just start betting next thing you know you got you just lost a whole bunch of money damn that's when you know you have a gambling problem especially when you're doing it too much and you take things that you used to love and care about and you just start you know piling it on and selling it for money don't do that. Straight up. Like, we all have gambling addictions ad addictions in some way. Me, mine is just with the fucking gotcha games. I cannot with gotcha games. Like, if you already know, know me, especially with what happened literally earlier in the month, going, in, like, in the last week of Jan January going into February, and with me trying to get Valentine's Day Kaede so freaking bad and i got her I, I had to fucking spark for her and the shit that i had to do and now i bear, i have like under a thousand gems and i'm trying to stick my ass off for like all my other best girls besides my number one aka kayane it is stressful because sometimes you just you have to say no and sometimes it's really hard to say no i, I cannot imagine as someone who i didn't play genshin a lot i i played it very casually i never spent money Thank God I was mainly spending money on Cinderella Girls, Bang Dream, and freaking D4 DJ. Those are the top three games that I will immediately spend money on and such. Um, but the things that I heard about some Genshin players and how much money they would spend. The same thing with the Fate um, Grand Order people and such. $1,000 for the JPEG. 
crazy as fuck. The, the things that we will do to have our best boys and best girls come home. But damn. We, we all need an intervention. Straight up. <laughs> Go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode 10. Alrighty. Episode 10 in 3, 2, 1. Go. What's wrong? Somebody wasn't paying attention. I mean, I feel like Nadoka, she's not going to have her match until what, 11, episodes 11 and 12? Because it mainly... We saw the student council president's, you know, friend, her, her with the glasses. She was in the match. So I'm guessing next week might have to be Nautica, the prez, and then eventually Saki in the following two episodes. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, that's all you can say. Me too, and Sleepy too. Mm-hmm. You so did good. Mm. 
Which means she can let her facade down and cry. Unfortunately, babe, you are. And the fact that they're like so freaking close, that's so cute. <laughs> Let's see. Right. But there's got to be a reason on why she's doing it, though. Wasn't thinking smart enough.
Beginners luck my ass. It is, but you should be able to turn it around, though. Damn, he walking real far. Damn, Marco. <laughs> right and still she should be on her way oh but she is a participant Yes, that's true. Not the penguin. Aww. 
No shit. I mean, damn. <laughs> Y'all could have literally just took a nap and left the penguin alone. We're trying to get revenge, but it's not working successfully. My thing is, why is she restrained? Like, Jesus. That's so mean. <laughs> I don't think we'll see the, all of this match because we have like three minutes left. We'll probably just see like the start of it and then the conclusion next week. They're worried. Is her? Mm. <laughs> it's too late about that, honey. The baby is the wipe of the floor. So, of course, 
we're not going to see the conclusion of this next week. But yeah, she is about to wipe the floor. Wipe them off the motherfucking floor. She's about to kick their ass. Like, it, since their captain knows how good the student council president is, like, you already know that next week she's going to win. Now, unless the other girl from the same school as her has, like, an advantage on something, oh, you already know next week she's winning. Now, the two girls who ended up taking uh, Naruka as Penguin, fuck them. Even though I like the girl with the ponytail, she seems very, like, Garu-esque and stuff. But still, you think our, you know, pro who is a judge would be like, hey, what's your name? Where you go? But I think because she saw the uniforms and such, she already knows where they go to school. And I think she's going to... um do something essentially when it is their turn maybe who knows but next week's match could end anyway um the blonde girl with the glasses beginner's luck that's all i'm gonna say about her beginner's fucking luck um the other pro the no the girl the young girl who beat the pro and how she came in out of nowhere from la from the previous episode into this one, girl, I'm scared for her to pop up. And she's going to pop up when Saki has her turn. And who knows how that's going to go. That is going to be a wild... Oh, it she how can you still be asleep at a time like this? Seriously. When they when they go at it, that's going to be something different entirely. And I, I'm, I'm honestly going to be really afraid of that match. Like, each match for this show, for what we've seen for these past two episodes, are very different. Yes, I feel bad for Yuki and Mako, who both lost, essentially. Because if we looked how the previous episodes were, like, they were a shoo-in to win. But, you know, in the finals, a lot of things can change. But for their student council president, this is her time to bring them back up. So, of course, she's got a little, like, tricks up her scheme. Or, I mean, up her sleeve. But we won't see what those are until next week. But, yeah, other than that, both episodes were good. Very enjoyable. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of Saki. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe subscribe to my channel and make videos if you want I join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. Bye guys!